Okay, we're gonna be working on the deadbolt again and we're going to get that battery tray moved and the electronics moved to where we want it and the way we're going to be doing that is we're going to be putting on um, some new rock sliders guys as you can see this one is higher uh, this is going to raise our center of gravity just a little bit but I also feel like this one as it dipped down uh, has a tendency to to catch itself on more so this one's flat um, also this is aluminum so we can just drill down our electronics to this guys okay, so we're gonna move moving the receiver box from here to here uh, we'll be taking the Dremel and shaving off these because pretty much that line is where the body goes in and then we'll be putting the escape on the back <laughs> All right, we got it mounted all I did was uh, use number four screws, uh, these right here, and put them up through. Now, I got the nuts on top because anything that slides across the bottom, I want it to be able to slide, and, I, and the nut would catch on things. So this has a better chance. We're off to shoe glue this over here, and I'm also going to end up shoe gluing these because this, this is not a waterproof box. I had these little brackets. I don't remember what off of what build. But you could use a nail bracket. And all I did was I put two holes on both sides of each frame. Next we uh, cut a piece of flat stock aluminum and put across. And we bolt it down on there. And then we'll bolt our original battery tray back on top of that. So we'll take this back apart and paint the aluminum. Okay guys, next we uh, zip tied this and double sided this with Gorilla Glue or Gorilla Tape. Uh, holds up to 15 pounds. It is the, the clear one. So I can actually pick up the whole truck by it. Uh, so with the rock sliders we got $10 from Amazon. And then I got about $5 worth of parts in here, including the screws and uh, the aluminum. So I do know you can buy a whole piece that already fits in the SCX-10. The only thing is, is you have to use the original rock sliders. And the original rock sliders, they dip down. So I think that's bad when you're, when you're going for clearance. So uh, I still came out ahead here. And I have the pride of, of making my own. So next thing we're going to do is we got to trim the body now. Because the rock sliders are straight across and they don't dip down, uh, it doesn't quite uh, fit down. So we'll just have to cut the little edge off of the bottom of this to make it fit. All right, we got the body trimmed. Just took the little edge off um, and it sits in there great. So that does leave us room for now. Everything for our winch controller is going to be on this side, including a small battery. And then we've got the back freed up for a mod I'm going to be doing in the near future. So as always, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.